Hey there, geek and sundry folks. My name is Brent Ranch. I just graduated, actually, from college with a degree in communications, which is why all of my good video and audio equipment is uh, what's well, in boxes. But I saw your call on Google Plus, and I thought, well, if I don't do this now, I'm going to regret it. So instead of getting all the stuff out of the boxes, this is all being done on an iPhone and a family iMac from 2008. So the audio and video fidelity is going to be significantly better uh, going forward. So you wanted vloggers that are passionate about something. Uh, well, I'm passionate about these things. I'm a vinyl freak. But lest you think I'm just some sort of a uh, urban outfitter kind of hipster, not that I would ever uh, discriminate against everyone, here's kind of my, uh, well, here's, here's a look at my record collection. So this is my record collection. And, uh, well, that's, that's part of it, too. Yeah, and, uh, well, yes, in that crate. And, uh, yeah, you can't forget about the 45s. And, uh, well, yeah, I think that's actually the last of it. Well, every girl I've ever dated, and my mother, I don't know why I'm linking those two together, they've thought that it's a sickness, but I love records. And it's not just the old stuff like the Donovan record, it's also new stuff, like this Nora Jones record from 2012, and even more recently, uh, the She and Him Volume 3 came out on vinyl. The? I don't know why I added a the there. There is no the. I know better than that. And Vampire Weekend's uh, new record... Uh, modern vampires in the city. So what would I do? What's my purpose? Well, that's kind of a deeper question. I don't want to get into it on, uh, on my first video, intro video, if you will. Um, but I would like to tell people where to buy vinyl online. What album should you use to start your collection? What, what does the label on the actual record mean? Here, I'm going to use Donovan here for an example. Inner sleep. It's on a yellow Epic label, but in 1969 or so, they transitioned over to the, uh, the black Epic label. Is there a difference? Should there be a difference in price? Is there a difference in sound quality? These are the geeky things that I'd like to get into. Uh, what reissue labels, labels that are putting out old stuff, again, which are good? Which records from those labels actually sound good and are worth your money? Thrift shop getting. Getting records from thrift shops and other places, and, and other geeky kind of vinyl news. Because one day we will have the Beatles in mono on vinyl in print again. So, uh, well this is a little intro video. I'd like to get into all that other stuff if you kind of pick me. And even if you don't, I'm probably going to start uh, doing it anyway on my own. Uh, again, the audio and video quality would definitely be significantly better uh, later on. So I hope that you take, take a chance on me. God, I... I hope you like puns, specifically ABBA puns. Well, hope to hear from you soon and talk to you soon.